What's up guys? So today we're finally going to be doing something fun on this thing. I'm going to be showing you how to install an aftermarket lip on a Mark III Supra. Uh, make sure that you stick around till the end. I'll give you my full opinion and a review of the lip, but I will also make sure to give you guys an up close look at it once it's installed so you guys can actually be the judge of whether or not this is a good option for you. So let's hit it. So we're installing this because I'm a glutton for punishment and want to make the front of this car even lower will be fun on our roads here in Spokane. As you can see, I have a back street lip on there right now. It's basically a unicorn. These things are impossible to find. I want to install this one that's going to look a little more aggressive. It's modeled after a Bomex lip. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull the stock lip off and see how this one fits. I think we're going to do this a little faster way. All right, so I had about enough of that. So we got the old one off. You can see that the new one is quite a bit thicker, taller. Always, and I mean always, bag your shit. Because I will lose these. At least that's my deal. Moment of truth. See how, how uh, close this thing matches the contour of the bumper. So it actually looks pretty good. Um, it needs to come forward just a little bit here. The only real issue I see with the contour is that in the center right here, it's got just a little bit too much bow. So it's a little slightly, uh, has slightly more curve to it than the actual bumper. So this front nose piece just sticks out. I don't know, maybe, it's like a, maybe a quarter inch. So I think that's enough where I can work with. So I think if I align and set my center, and start drilling the holes there based on where this should line up and slowly work my way out, I can curve uh, the lip to the contour of the bumper a little bit and they should match up pretty well. The good news, I think we can make this work. I think it'll fit pretty good and it should look a thousand times more aggressive than that factory one. And it should be a thousand times more of a pain in the ass when I'm driving over bumps or driveways or entrances or pretty much anything except flat, flat ground. But we do it all because race car. Why are these things always so freaking crooked? The bumpers are always perfect. These are always bent to hell. I have no idea why. Well, that should be good enough, better than it was. It's an okay replica. It's got a few imperfections, but I think the biggest thing that I'm not too thrilled about is the fact that, yeah, the top of the lip is just not wide enough. You can see right there that all of my holes are really close to that backside edge. And on the sides, it's actually so close that the holes are just basically divots for them to go through. The sides aren't as big a deal just because there's a, a plate that goes in here um, and bolts onto the bottom. 
So that's going to sandwich it and with having a plate on both sides it can't move laterally. Uh, but these are kind of an issue that kind of bothers me. So I think what I'll do eventually is I'll probably come in here later when I pull it back off and just add some glass to this and bring these out around each one of these. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. As you can probably see in those close-ups, there are some imperfections that were evidently in their molding. Um, I'd like to clean those up. And then the biggest issue I have with this lip is that the top of it is just not wide enough and your mounting holes are either non-existent and hanging off or they're just really close to the edge and you don't have a lot of structural support. Maybe in the next couple weeks if I got time or if nothing else by winter when the car's down and, and tucked away, I'll, I'll pull it back off. I'm gonna do a little bit of fiberglass work and then some, uh, some smoothing and body work on it and then we're gonna paint it. So I will do a follow-up video on how to get a Bomex eBay replica lip to fit these things perfect. So stay tuned for that. So one thing that I would recommend, drill that center hole, then mount the lip from that center hole and map out your next two holes, pull it back off, punch those, and kind of work your way out just so you make sure they line up because you don't have a lot of free play there. And if you're off, then you're kind of screwed without doing fiberglass work. So I hope this helps somebody if you're on the fence about this lip. You guys know the drill. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see our, our next upcoming tutorial. We are in a windstorm out here, but smash that like button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one.